Greetings, dear seekers of wisdom and truth. We gather here today on the precipice of a profound exploration into the labyrinth of thought that is Marx's philosophy. We find ourselves at the mouth of a cave filled with echoes of history, whispers of societal struggles, and the shimmering outlines of potential solutions. Are you ready to delve into the shadows to bring forth the light of understanding from the caverns of complexity? If so, let us begin. What does it mean to be free in a society? How does our labor shape us and the world we inhabit? These questions posed by Marx and his followers continue to reverberate through the corridors of time, challenging us to critically examine our own societal structures and individual lives. Marx's philosophy is not a monolith, but a dynamic tapestry woven from threads of economic theory, social criticism, historical analysis, and revolutionary praxis. At its core, it posits the existence of a perennial class struggle, a conflict propelled by the economic machinery of capitalism. It's a complex, intricate universe of thought that defies simplification, one that necessitates our full attention as we journey through its many layers. In Marx's view, human beings are fundamentally creative and productive creatures, defined by their labor. However, in a capitalist society, labor becomes alienated, separating individuals from their true nature and from each other. This alienation, Marx argued, fuels the engine of class conflict, as the capitalist class seeks to maintain its power and control over the working class. Further, Marx's philosophy emphasizes the dialectical nature of history, a progression driven by the tension between opposing forces. For Marx, this tension was the conflict between the bourgeoisie, the owners of the means of production, and the proletariat, the workers who provide the labor. The echoes of Marx's thought reverberate through the voices of countless scholars and activists. Renowned philosopher and political theorist, Antonio Gramsci, expanded on Marx's concept of class struggle, introducing the notion of cultural hegemony, the domination of a culturally diverse society by the ruling class. Further, Rosa Luxemburg, a Marxist revolutionary, underscored the global dimension of the class struggle, positing that the liberation of the working class could only be achieved through international solidarity. Most recently, the economist Thomas Piketty, while not strictly a Marxist, has brought attention back to the issue of wealth and income inequality in his work, echoing Marx's concerns about the concentration of wealth in the hands of the few. Culturally, Marx's influence is pervasive. Books like George Orwell's 1984 and Aldous Huxley's Brave New World grapple with themes of class struggle and societal control. Songs like Bob Dylan's The Times They Are at Chang'an echo the call for societal transformation. Films like Metropolis and Modern Times depict the alienation and dehumanization of the working class in industrial societies. In contemporary discourse, Marx's philosophy continues to ignite debates. Critics argue that his theories oversimplify complex social structures and ignore individual agency. Supporters, however, contend that his critique of capitalism and vision for a classless society remains relevant, particularly in light of increasing wealth inequality. The relevance of Marx's philosophy in today's world cannot be overstated. With the rise of automation and artificial intelligence, the nature of labor and the structure of the economy are rapidly changing. In a world marked by growing inequality, the questions Marx posed about freedom, labor, and societal structure are more pertinent than ever. In our exploration of Marx's philosophy, we've journeyed through the complexities of class struggle, the hardships of alienation, and the potential of revolutionary change. We've discovered a narrative that, while rooted in the past, still speaks to our present and offers insights for our future. Marx's philosophy, like a prism, refracts the light of our understanding, revealing a spectrum of societal struggles and potential solutions. Thank you, dear audience, for joining us on this exploration. Your intellectual curiosity and engagement are what make these journeys into philosophical realms so enriching. As we part ways for now, I leave you with these questions to ponder. How do you perceive the role of labor in your own life?
In what ways do you see the effects of class struggle in your own society? How can Marx's philosophy inform our understanding of contemporary societal issues? Until our next philosophical journey, I encourage you to continue seeking, questioning, and exploring. Remember, the pursuit of wisdom is a journey without end, a constant quest that enriches our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. May your path be lined with insights and your journey be full of discovery. Until we meet again.